Hello everybody and welcome to a heat video featuring a new system that was added in one of the most recent updates to the game and that is temperature along with seasons. So we are in summer right now. If we open up our newspaper, we can see down here in the bottom right that it's going to be a high of 101 today and that it is June 12th. So definitely in the summer and it's definitely a little bit hot. My uh, heat bar on the bottom right is flashing. Uh, red, which probably is not a good thing. It means I'm going to end up losing health if I let this continue. So what I want to do in this video is go over how to stay cool in the summer and then when it's winter I will do a video on how to stay warm in the winter. I haven't had winter on my server yet so I'm excited to see how harsh it's going to be. So far I haven't lost any health in summer but it is concerning that I have red icons flashing in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. So if you go into your character journal. It says here that I'm hot. It says wear cool and wet clothing or increase your resistance skill to tolerate hotter temperatures. Find additional relief from shelter, staying well hydrated or swimming. I have four points into resistance. So I have 40 resistance right now and it's still flashing. I would assume if I had zero resistance, I might have lost health at this point. So what we're going to do now is take a dunk and go swimming and wet our clothes and see if that helps a little bit with our flashing icons. And then after that, we'll look at a more long-term way of keeping cool. And I'm just gonna collect water here in my little water container. So yeah, bottom right, we see that our bar is not flashing on the top, but on the bottom one, it is still telling us that it is very, very warm. So let's head back to our base and see how long that lasts. Oh, that did not last at all. We're back to flashing red again. So I don't think the most efficient way to stay cool is going to be taking a dip. And now we also have this annoying sound effect along with it that we have to deal with as we run back to our base. The next thing I'm going to try is if we come into the clothing skill line, I'm going to craft this checked chemise and I could buy the second one which I think is a lot prettier but I want to save my thread because I'm going to use my thread to craft this one. I'm wearing a riding dress right now which gives me 110 cold resistance but I really need heat resistance so that's going to be the 67% I can get from this. And the equivalent I suppose if you are a male and don't want to wear a dress would be the shaman outfit which will give you 70% heat resistance, which is actually pretty good. But after that, you have to wait quite a bit to get anything that's even significant. So you have to wait until level 20 for the rancher outfit. And that's not even as good as a 67% from this. So I'm going to head back and we'll see if we can't get that crafted. So here I am at my loom. It is not upgraded at all, but I still can craft this chemise. It requires 32 thread to make, so we have definitely covered that. And it's going to take three minutes to make. While we wait for that, I want to test out the effects of water or hydration on the heat meter. So as you can see, it's blinking pretty badly, and if we start chugging away at our water to the point that we're at full hydration, we'll see if that helps at all or not. It's hard to tell because really all we have is the blinking on the side. We don't really have like numbers as to how hot we really are besides we're at the top of that, that bar there. But let's see. We should be, yeah, we're basically fully hydrated and uh, still flashing red. So seems that that may not be the best way to go about this either. I'm really banking on the fact that the clothes are going to help us out the most here. Something I should also mention is that I could also craft a grass hat to put on with my chemise, which gives an additional 13% heat resistance. So I'm going to end up doing that as well. Okay, it looks like our chemise is done, so I'm going to go ahead and collect that and get our straw hat going. And let's put this on and see if that made any difference at all. Now I did notice that that bar in the right is now flashing blue and slowly decreasing. So I'm wondering if this has done what we need it to do. I wish there was a way for me to show you what this looks like from the front. I'm not sure if there is a way to change... Um, or rotate the camera at all. I don't think there is. But let's put our hat on. <laughs> I love how the hair gets clipped away. <laughs> it's so goofy. I wish we could somehow keep our hair, but 
It does in fact look like this is pretty drastically changing the little fire heat bar on the right. And I, I really think that the sun and the temperature gauge is just to tell us that it's hot outside, whereas the, the little icon above it is to tell us that our bodies are hot and we're going to start losing health if we don't take care of that. So I think the clothing is the best way to go, and I'll show you one more time the flow of things here. So this is 67% heat resistance. And this, the uh, shaman outfit, is 70% heat resistance, and the shaman cap is an additional 8.25% heat resistance. And then from there, you get some varied resistances until you get to the uh, cowboy outfit, which is 66% cold, similar to my riding dress. Then we have the rancher outfit, which is basically even. The classy cowboy outfit, which is also 66%. Um, saloon dress, interesting. Wedding dress and a veil. Business dress research is good for 110% well, in cold. That's pretty significant. Is there an equivalent for the heat though? <laughs> and then of course we have the outlaw sets, which look like they're really good for cold resistance. And then all the way down at level 60, we really, wow, I'm just amazed that there aren't, uh, there isn't that big of a variance in temperature in a lot of these, but it is very interesting that the clothing helps so much with this. And of course, you have uh, the hats, which, ooh, the sombrero would be an additional 12%. I can research that and craft that so we can get a sombrero. I can't say that I recommend running down to water every time you want to try and cool down because that didn't really seem to help much the second I got out of the water I was boiling again so that's not really going to help if you need to work on a project like this but now that I am dressed properly and I'm not dying to heat I will be able to finish my wonderful mansion here on the farm so I hope that helped you and gave you something to think about as far as dealing with the summer season in heat I think Temperature is a really interesting addition to this game. It is a survival game, so it's always nice to see more survival elements added, and I'm glad we have the clothing to uh, get us through all that. So anyway, if you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I'd be really interested to hear what you all think as far as all of the new changes to heat go. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video about cold weather and I'm assuming it's gonna be along the same lines. Uh, the only difference being that we're probably just gonna to need to heat up a stove or use a fire to keep warm along with warm clothes. So as always, the links to my socials are in the description box down below. I hope you all are enjoying your games and I will see you all in the next one.